up guys and thank you guys so much for tuning in so guys happy new year to all of you i'm sorry i haven't been around as much but i'm finally getting just caught up with life there's been a lot of changes and stuff going on but i'm here so i hope 2020 is going to be a really positive one for us um i wanted to do a quick daily energy for today so today is the fifth okay so sunday january 5th at the end of this, guys, I will pull separate advice cards so everyone will get a little bit of a more personalized reading in that way. What is today's daily energy? And this is for all signs. see what's up all right so we have the judgment card the nine of wands and we have the eight of pentacles now the energy here is the three of pentacles in the reverse i honestly see two very distinct energies here because it's clear that there's something that's just not working in a cohesive manner around uh, you guys, so it could be something that's happening in your work life. It could be something that's happening in love. But there's something you're kind of questioning, something that you're kind of, it's like you know the truth of it, but you're kind of doubting yourself or you just don't want to put your finger on what that truth is. Um, and it's something that could be seen as a betrayal or something that ends kind of in a harsh way. But there's a sense of someone having to accept that something might not work out the way they thought that it would. But because of that not working out, and you guys seeing things for what it is eventually you start to really work on something where you're enduring a lot and it's like you're at a point where you're just about to have a breakthrough now with the nine of wands that could talk about you know adversity and burdens that we're going through but it's you standing strongly in it um keep in mind guys that the num uh, number 10 is the number of completion when it comes to just numerology and tarot so when you're at that nine point you know a lot of people could think about giving up at this point. A lot of people could say, you know, is it really worth it? Not realizing that they're about to hit that breakthrough. So let's see why these cards are here. We have the Eight of Cups in the reverse, Page of Swords in the reverse. Okay. And Nine of Swords. So this is what it is, guys, because you're you're onto something huge and there's like this new chapter coming in. There's this huge turnaround that you're about to experience. But right as this breakthrough is about to come, something from the past is trying to re-enter your life. Or maybe you're looking back and thinking, you know, should I go back in this direction? The biggest thing here is knowing not only can you not go back in that direction, but that needs to be a final decision. It can't be something where you say, oh, I'm not going to go back and then next week you change your mind. You're making that decision and that's that, okay? Um, whatever this is, it could cause anxiety. It could cause people to like fight or say harsh things to one another. But because you're able to move away from this, again, you guys do have that huge breakthrough. It's just, I feel like someone is just having a hard time, truly 125%, you know, letting something go. Um, and because of this fallout, it could seem like you're having an unstable transition. But again, you're going towards something really solid. So let's keep all of this in mind. We're going to pull advice cards. Now, the way that this works, guys, think of a number one, two, or three. I'm going to pull three cards. And whatever number you choose, that'll be your advice. All right? So think of one, two, or three. Keep that number in your head. Meditate on that for a moment. All right, so what is the advice for today? So we have one, two, and three, okay? I always look at the bottom of the deck, guys, just kind of as um, the energy for all of these advice cards, just to give us a little bit more story on them. But let's start with the first one. So if you guys chose number one, you have the Knight of Wands, okay? With the energy that we have here, we have the King of Swords, Eight of Pentacles in the verse, Nine of Wands in the verse. So... There could be kind of like a hesitance to let something go. But when you guys 
really cut it out and you stand strongly behind that and you don't let anyone, you know, waver that decision, you really, really flourish with something. There's something, you know, super strong that you guys really just throw yourselves in 100%. We have the Seven of Swords. So this is actually really specific. There's something new that you're working on, but I feel like you guys have to keep it to yourself for now. Work in silence, okay? Something great is coming in, but give yourself a moment to to go, give yourself a moment to establish it, okay? Give yourself a moment to kind of get it off the ground. Um, people can't attack what they don't know, okay? So if they don't know what you're working on, they can't put bad energy in the air out for it, okay? For those who chose number two, we have a Knight of Cups, okay? So again, there's that same energy of really just going towards something where you're, you're going to be very passionate about it. There could be a significant water sign in your life, Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio. I'll pull one more supporting card. We have the seven of wands. So with number one, for the advice, it was kind of like work in silence. For number two, it's not so much working in silence, but it's enduring all the adversity coming at you and knowing that there's going to be a sense of peace. When something is described with the Knight of Cups energy, it's like it's very calm. You're emotionally stable. You feel good about this. You can feel very passionate about it you know deep down inside what needs to be done. Okay, with the High Priestess and the Seven of Cups in the verse, there's complete clarity on a soul level. Okay, now the last card here, guys, number three, we have the Sun card. This is a very beautiful card. This talks about blessings coming in. Um, this talks about things just being brought to light, but it's usually in a very, very positive way. Let's pull one more supporting card for this. Number three, we have the Eight of Swords in the verse. Now, we have the moon card in the verse, and we have the seven of pentacles. So seven is definitely a huge theme. We got three sevens um, so far just for these advice cards. But with number three, the main thing is you already know what needs to be done. You saw, you saw something for what it is. Um, when the eight of swords is upright over here, this is someone just being stuck in a place, you know, not mentally being able to get past something, um, feeling tied down in a situation where they're really not. So you have clarity. You know what needs to be done. You've seen everything for what it is, okay? You're realizing that something in your life was kind of throwing you off course, but now you see that and you're able to go towards better things. So because you're looking at things realistically, that's why a lot of blessings do come in. All right, guys? So I love y'all. If you need absolutely anything, I always put all of my information in the description below, but I'll see you guys soon. Take care.